Well, I hope you had a nice break because we are back. It is Friday Night Football number 36 presented by Mudhead, sponsored by our new friends over at Rocket Mortgage. And guys, Rocket Mortgage coming on board, helping uh, put on Friday Night Football. Uh, and they like to say home is so much more than a house. It's your personal luxury box. By making the complex simple, Rocket Mortgage has built a mortgage experience centered around you, personalized and convenient, so you can spend time scouting the competition and making your house a home. Push button, get mortgage, Rocket Mortgage, and MLS ID number 3030. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco hanging out with Zan. And Zan, what a round number one. We've already had $1,000 of that Rocket Mortgage prize pool given to Jay Bird, who you see on screen right now, taking on Kratobin, as he was able to knock out last week's champion, Saint. But he's thinking about adding another 1K to his pocket by winning Friday Night Football. Back-to-back -back weeks, we've seen the Blitz cash go away in the first round. Uh, we'll see. That might be a little bit of a curse. You win Friday Night Football, you're going to bow out in that first round the following week. A little bit of added pressure. Uh, Shout-outs to our new friends there at Rocket Mortgage for making this expanded prize pool possible. Uh, it's been awesome. I, I mean, they've uh, allowed us to start putting more cash in the players' pockets, and uh, you know that's a, that's a thanks to you guys in the chat. Speaking to you guys in the chat, let us know if you guys are brand new to the, the broadcast. Hit one if the chat in the chat if you're a first-time watcher tonight. And, guys, a reminder. We're going to be giving away five of those Deion Sanders cards uh, in the broadcast today to win one of those. All you got to do, you just got to be active in the chat. You got to hit that follow button right up top. Uh, it's the heart button. It is completely free to hit. So you don't have to sub. You just got to be following the channel. And you got to be a positive force for good, which we already see so many positive forces for good in the chat. A lot of people excited about the action we saw in round number one. And now we head into the important round, uh, round number two, because when this one, you're automatically invited back to next week's Friday Night Football. And Zan, that takes a little more weight now because we have the Rocket Mortgage Blitz Cash. Getting into next week's Friday Night Football isn't just a chance to win another tournament, but that random draw, you could get a chance to get that Blitz Cash in round number one. That's a great point you just made, Nick. Uh, normally, the way that we run the tournament is the top eight are randomized on their own to be the top eight seeds the following week. The new 24 that come in get randomized to ensure that players that finished in the final eight the previous week don't face each other in the first round. No longer is that the case. We're going to be running it so everyone has an equal opportunity to play the previous week's champion because everybody wants a shot at $1,000 right off the jump. So uh, now we get these marquee matchups that we talk about. You know, you talked about tonight, Goes versus Blocky. That's a, a matchup that you might not see in a regular Friday Night Football week. Now, with that out the window, we can see this every single week, all these great marquee matchups right off the jump. Dual Sports 12 years. says, shout out to Rocket Mortgage. Absolutely. And Shaq Barrett with the sack. How about a player's having himself a heck of an NFL season? Shaq Barrett making noise. Sack Barrett, as they're calling him on Twitter these days. Yeah, he's had an unreal uh, start to the season. And I don't think it's a fluke. There's a lot of film nuts out there that are saying, this is what he used to do. It's just you never saw it when he was in Denver. And uh, I think Tampa Bay has got themselves quite a pass rusher. As we already have one person into round number three, Rage taking down Beast Mode Mac 17 to 10 in round number two. Rage solidifies his spot in next week's Friday Night Football as Kratobin, the kick is up. It is good. He cuts the lead back to one as we'll head to the second half. Jay Bird on a roll up by one over the Madden 19 challenge champion. And now we get to see if Jay Bird can ride the momentum from his Rocket Mortgage Blitz Cash win get himself $1,000 by winning his first Friday Night Football. Definitely going to be paying attention to our bounty winner tonight there in Jaybird. Hearing right now that the Joke versus Krill match is insane. You got a three-point ball game. Uh, Joke is up with the ball right now. We'll keep you updated on action around the bracket here as we're just in round number two, guys. That first round took a lot out of us, but we still got a lot left to go tonight. See who's going to take home that other $1,000. Yeah, we say the other $1,000, the, the the actual $1,000 for winning the tournament. That $1,000, winner take all here in Friday night football salary cap action. As now it is Kratobin with the ball to start the second half, and that's why the smart decision taking that three points at the end of the first half. He's going to look over the top looking for Harrison. He's got him. Adams in coverage, but Harrison had a step, and what a throw from Steve Young to Marvin Harrison. The great part about Mutt is you get to say sentences like that. Kratobin's inside the 30. 
That's one of the things with the 3-4 Bears. A lot of players love this defense against Bunch because you can get quick pressure on the quarterback. But when it doesn't get home, great lurk right there. And there's the uh, when lark. it doesn't get Jamal home, it can be super costly. Oh, and he's in open space. Da na na na. Da 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 da. See, it's the Adams family right there. He's into the end zone. Jay Bird extends the lead to eight. You gonna go see that movie, uh, Nick? Yeah, I'll go check it out. I saw one great user earlier was talking about it in his chat. He said that he's headed on a uh, a family date tomorrow to go see that movie. <laughs> they got the remake of the Adams family. Oh, how about this, Jay Bird? We can extend it to a two-score lead. We saw this not work in our first round, but can he make it work here? It's an aggressive call here in the third quarter. Three times, yeah, what's going really, on, man? It's really not a kill shot here to go up by you know nine points with nine and a half minutes to go in the ball game. So I, I'm not sure I agree with this call right here. Oh, but Sayers <laughs> breaks a tackle and says, Zan, it's a great call when you got Gail Sayers in the backfield. Two score lead for Jaybird with 4.16 to go in the third quarter. Guys, it is that time. Let's roll one of those Deion Sanders cards. You see it right there. 92 overall, 92 speed, 92 excel. And he's, of course, got big hitter. He is quite the player. And uh, well, how about this? Uh, all you got to do to win that Deion Sanders card, you just got to be active in the chat. Hit that follow button. Make sure you're following because, Zan, how many times have we drawn a winner and it says not following and we got to go re-roll? Because, you know, Boogs loves that re-roll. More times than I would like. I want all you guys to be able to win in the chat. I mean, imagine being the guy out of close to 3,000 that wins the giveaway, but you're not following, so we have to give it to somebody else. You don't want to do that today. Deion Sanders, I mean, we're talking about taking away an entire side of the field. I mean, you got to force your opponents to throw first in Madden 20, but nice guy to have when they have to throw. How about this, by the way? Kratobin, he threw the ball 16 times in this game against Jaybird. Down by nine, looking to get back into it. Steve Young in the shotgun, little gun bunch action. Look at Jaybird getting aggressive defensively. Free rusher, he dumps it off to Gail Sayers, picks up the first down. Great recognition by Kratobin. Good check down. Heavy blitz right there. Uh, a lot of players will go with this approach against the 3-4 bear where you're sending six, sending seven. Send everybody out on a route and find the open guy. I like it. Young oh, picked up nicely. Looking one more time for Harrison, but tight coverage by Pat Tillman. Dangerous throw from Chris Tillman. He's already thrown three picks in this game. Yeah, very risky read right now. We've seen a couple times today on the stream, guys throwing the ball in coverage and the defense just not coming down with it. Uh, tough break right there for Jaybird. Young trying to get out of the pocket. He's going to have to chuck that one out of bounds. No one open downfield. And now a third and 10. Kratobin down by two scores as another result in BG Fam takes down Young Tony 21 19. Close game. BG Fam into the third round. Young. Third and 10. Steps right. Nobody there. He's going to take off. Sees the open space. Picks up the first down. Slides. And that's a nice play there from Kratobin on third down. Uh, guys, we are going to draw that in just a second. Nightbot's got to populate. So we got to make sure we get as many people in that uh, drawing as possible. So it just takes a second. Uh, but we are drawing that Deion Sanders card. There's a quick snap. Young. Ah, juke move. And Marvin Harrison. Open space. 10-5. You ain't catching double eight as he's into the end zone. How about the little hot skip and a jump by Marvin Harrison to find the end zone and cut it back to a three-point game? Big answer right there by Kratobin. But the two-point conversion that we were talking about with Jaybird still has him out front by two points. Uh, you know, it's it's going to pay off. We'll see if that ends up being the difference. Still a long way to go in this ball game. Uh, just going back to the comment you made earlier with the BG fam victory over young Tony BG fam, another player that out is out there kind of similar to what Jaybird is doing, throwing the ball quite a bit from the strong close right now. He's not afraid to go empty. Uh, last I checked, he's running a receiver at fullback on salary cap, motioning him out wide, getting some mismatches. I would like to see what BG fam is doing. He'll take on the winner of, Blocky versus Huncho Hodges. I'm not sure, Zan, but I'm looking through the chat. It seems like a couple people want Deion Sanders. I'm not sure, though. It's unclear. Just a couple, huh? Yeah, one or two. <laughs> either one or two are either really excited that it is prime time right now or they really want Deion Sanders. Yeah, get those dice roll emotes in the chat if you guys want that Deion Sanders. We're going to be giving away a couple of those, a couple more of those tonight. Uh, and of course, we got the Kahuna giveaway as well after the finals. A little single back wing stack here from Jaybird. Again, guys, I'm going to sound like a broken record. We just put this offense out on playbook.gg. So if you're trying to understand what these players are thinking, 
in this offense. Go check it out. We just put the guide out today. Roger well, he has X right. on the sideline, but can't get I, it. To I him. was looking at that. I was like, is he open over there? He looked like there was nobody within 15 yards of him, but no way to throw it across the field. He just chucks that one out of bounds, lives to fight another down. And how about our winner of that, Deion Sanders? Nolan Blackburn, 03, just followed the channel today. And congratulations, you got that, Deion Sanders. Check your whispers. You're looking for one from Rockets uh, to claim your prize. You don't want to miss out by not claiming it in your whispers. Yes, absolutely. He's going to go to the crossing route again. That's the route Ooh. combo he lived on. That's incomplete, though. Didn't get two feet in, apparently. Um, uh, going back to the giveaway, though, uh, make sure that you guys oh, got it. check your whispers. Um, and we have the uh, the two days. Make sure two business days. Shouts to Israel, uh, a.k.a. Kralo, Gibbs, Farles, Gabby, everyone out there at EA Tiburon making our giveaways possible every single week. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for helping us grow Friday Night Football week in and week out. Jaybird with a big first down pickup. Now first and 10 eye formation. Sayers at the top of the I-2 wide receivers. Rodgers dropping back to pass on oh, first and 10. Looking over the top for Cooks. Ah, he makes the catch against Jalen Ramsey. And Jaybird down to the seven-yard line. Cooks coming up big. It looked to me like he had him earlier in the play for a lob, but uh, Jalen Ramsey got some of that recovery speed, probably that Mutt Heroes item that just came out. One of the fan favorites. I talked about him last week on the broadcast. Um, if you guys haven't done your house rules, you will get 35 victories. You can choose any of these heroes. That's the guy I chose when I finished mine. And now first and goal for Jaybird, who doesn't have to snap it. And he indeed will not force up in the chat. We got fourth quarter action. It's a two-point game. The action nonstop here on Friday Night Football number 36. Packers fan 90 so is Skimbo two. in this. Not this week. Now, a lot of these players right now, I would anticipate that we're going to see some uh, some newer names over the next few weeks as we have the stretch call and Sayers ooh, walks in for the touchdown. Ooh, 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 ooh. Big drive Sayers. right there by Jaybird. Yeah, beautiful uh, but answer. I think we're going to see a lot of new names just because with club series coming up, with the clubs being staggered, uh, Nick can let me know on the schedule there. He might have a better idea than I do. But um, with a lot of these guys prepping for clubs, they might stay off stream. So and I, I'd anticipate we're going to see some names that you guys have recognized getting opportunities. And this was about the time last year where we started to see some guys make names for themselves, guys like Decroft, guys like Skins, guys that you're used to seeing every single week on FNF. Uh, yeah, those clubs uh, kicking off. Uh, the first one out in Redwood City is November 9th. So we are getting down to club championship time. One of the, the most fun tournaments, everybody representing an individual NFL club. It is uh, really a lot of fun. Largest prize pool in the MCS. Big shout out to Dog Pound 440 with the two months of subscribing. Also, big shout out to Tone Log 936 with the Twitch Prime sub. Has a little throw over to the right side. Dottie to John Ross. Steve Young airing it out as Kratobin tries to come back down nine in the fourth. Little strong flood concept to the wide side of the field using a backside dig. You see right now Jaybird using the safety in the middle of the field. He's making him choose. Do you want to play the backside in route or get over to that corner route? You saw right there he kind of played neither, and he had the first down there for Kratobin. Now first and 10 for Kratobin. Young dropping back to pass. Looks over the middle of the field. Nice throw. Marvin Harrison at the 35-yard line. There's that in route and a nice throw from Steve Young. Goes right back to that dig route. Right now, Jaybird not sitting on that route at all. So we'll see uh, if Kratobin continues to take that his way up the field. Sean897, appreciate the Twitch Prime sub. You guys are awesome for supporting Friday Night Football. Great Gatsby in the chat. What's going on, man? As, appreciate uh, that, Steve Gatsby. Young, another find over the middle. Man, Zan, for a, game, for a game that everyone's talking about, the run meta, we've seen a lot of passings early in this Friday Night Football. Yeah, guys are getting better run defense, so they have to dig into their, their passing concepts, and we do see that there are community members that do have the ability to throw the ball, and they're the ones that are moving deep in these tournaments right now. Pimping it to 2012 with the Twitch Prime sub. So appreciate it, guys. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you in the chat hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco and Zan with you. Round two action on uh, Friday Night Football, number 36, presented by Mudhead, sponsored by our friends over at Rocket Mortgage. Second down and five, little bunch formation to the left side for Young of the Shotgun. His quick throw to the left side, that wheel route, Torrey Holt. 
to the 10 yard line. A couple of more results into the desk. Timor takes down Banks IQ 17 to 10. Joke takes down Curl 17 to 7. So Joke will take on Bam Scheman, who took down 49 or 28 19. Young first and 10. Quick throw right side. Ah, a little juke move from Pruitt, and he's into the end zone. Crit Tobin answers the touchdown. It's going to be up to his defense getting the ball back as the lead back down to three. Look at that run pass ratio right there from Kritobin. 26 passes, four rushes. That right there, it's easy to forget about a Michael Pruitt. I mean, you got to worry about Marvin Harrison's and all these other Hall of Fame receivers in salary cap. You forget about the uh, depth tight end for, uh, I don't even know who he plays for anymore. Is it the Vikings? That's who I last remember him with. But uh, yeah, a little flat route right there, and uh, he walks in for the score. Huge answer by Kritobin. Now can his defense come up with a stop? Uh, he's with the Titans right now. Michael Pruitt's with okay. the Titans right now? Yep, yep. He is Delaney Walker's backup. Tell you there what, you Delaney go. Walker, ageless wonder. That dude just continues to perform. It's like Delaney Walker and Frank Gore, just each and every year, continue to be playing, continue to be putting up numbers. As yes, we did have our when... legends. I remember a time when it was popular to start Delaney over Vernon Davis on the Niners. That's how back, how far back I'm remembering him. How good was Vernon Davis, by the way? It, it, but oh. Not just in his prime, his entire career. Always one of the best combine items every single year in Ultimate Team. I'm sure there'll be one this year. Uh, he, he ran an insane 40 time when he came back into the league out of Maryland. Dog Pound 440 says, Delaney Walker disrespecting my Browns. The only one I remember, the one I think of as disrespecting Browns was Jamal Lewis as he ran for, was it two, 260? Oh, he was nuts. Broke the single game rushing record. <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah, that was, uh, that, was, that was a rough one. Yeah, well, the Browns are continuing to be great. Third and inches. Did well, Craig Tobin just get a stop on third and inches? Nope. No. Really? I, I, thought, I thought the, the spot was back. generous for sure. <laughs> Doing the math in my head to see if, if Chris Hoban's got a shot right here. I think he does, but it's a very small one at this point. And there we go. Jay Bird already pocketed $1,000 from our uh, Rocket Mortgage. Blitz Cash taking down last week's champion Saint. And he's going to get into the, sec into the third round, excuse me, the second round win uh, if he's able to hold on. Guarantee himself a spot in next week's uh, Friday night football. And he is putting on a show right now. Really mixing up. He's got this run game with Gale Sayers, but we're seeing him when he has to pick up big third downs, able to throw the ball. He's looking for Sayers Sayers around the right side. Can he get to the first down marker? Breaks a tackle. He'll be taken down to the 41 yard line. No timeouts left for Kurt Tobin. It's just a waiting game. You see right there, that's the difference between a budget linebacker at the inside backer position in the 3-4 versus going out and getting a uh, you know, a top in Shazir or a Patrick Willis or the new Urlacher. Devin Bush, that 25 cap middle linebacker, he's a good budget linebacker, but just not fast enough there to pick up Sayers from behind. Third and seven eye formation, Sayers at the top of that eye. A first down definitively ends it as if uh if Kratobin's able to get a stop, may get the ball back with about 12 seconds left, but we've seen some home run hitters to force overtime to get win. Sayers, juke move, trying to make the tackle. He can't. Sayers will fall down, and Jaybird will knock out Kratobin, and we'll move on to round number three, facing the winner of that Canes franchise.